they don't want to just hear you they want to like see you they want to see your body language they want to see all that portland artist june boy has nothing to hide today on recognize maine okay you know what i mean we got to put maine on recognize rap shout out 100 percent in the past year, June Boy's dropped half a dozen music videos. He doesn't mind busting moves. Yeah, I'm actually a good dancer though, but I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Before he got jiggy on rap beats, he focused on a different genre of music in Angola. It's called Kuduru in my country. It's only up there. It's like movements and stuff. It's like crazy, it's like too aggressive. So I started doing that first. After moving to Maine, June Boy began recording songs with his friend KD. We've been making songs since I met him. We started this on the phone, actually. We used to make songs on the phone in my room just for fun, like every night. The two have good chemistry. Aside from working on rhymes, June Boy also practices faith. He says Christianity will help his wildest dreams come true. Religion is about believing, believing in something, believing in something that you can't see. So I'm believing that on something that I can't see. I, I don't see like fans. I don't see like a lot of people listening to my music. I don't even see myself yet in like in a stage with like a hundred thousand people and stuff. So I believe on that. He adds becoming famous will take lots of effort. If you stay consistent and you don't give up, you're just working. Not, but not, not really like caring about what other people say about it, because there's always gonna be people that doesn't like your music, and always gonna be people that likes your music. So yeah, I feel like one day I'm gonna be global if I keep like working. Another person grinding, not at the studio but at the skate park, is Dean Train. Get to know him next week on Recognize Maine.